Comrades, Section 6 of the EFF Constitution, which speaks to the principles of the EFF, is that you are only, is the only guide which we must all follow. There is no any other guide that we must follow except Section 6 of the Constitution of the EFF. When the organization is under attack, it is in Section 6, Subsection 7B, where the EFF Constitution speaks to what it means to be loyal to the organization. This section states that loyalty to the organization means that at all times, members and leaders will not keep quiet when the organization is unfairly criticized and attacked in private and in public. This section, fellow fighters, demand of you to defend this organization. It demands that you do not keep quiet when the organization is attacked, both in private and in public. I want to tell you today, comrades, that to betray this movement for personal reasons constitute an attack on our movement. Comrades, it is this section of the EFF Constitution that obligates all of us to speak out in private and in public and declare where we stand when the attack of abandoning this movement, movement confronts us. It was Martin Luther King Jr. who said in the United States as they were confronted by the cruel regime of racism in that country, it was him who declared, open quote, in the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends, close quotes. <laughs> Fellow fighters, as we face this tasty moment in our movement and are confronted by betrayal of our struggle for economic freedom in exchange for personal gains, we must not bother ourselves about what our enemies are saying, but we must ask ourselves, why are those who claim to be our comrades silent? Why are those who are known and popular to be the most vocal on social media suddenly silent? Why are their voices when our movement is under attack? Where are those loud voices? Why do they not use their platforms to speak in defense of the EFF if they are truly loyal to this movement? It is our constitutional obligation to speak out and declare our confidence in this movement when those who were trusted with it chose to abandon it. However, comrade, if there are those amongst us who are to be ashamed to declare where they stand as we defend our movement, I'm willing to give you a simple task and go and look at what those closest to them are saying and how they are behaving a leader of the EFF who is well known in the EFF, who is very popular in social media, on television, radio, and everywhere else. The EFF gets under attack. These leaders do not say anything, but because they don't know where they stand. But there is a practical way to find out where they stand. Just go and look at where their parents stand. Look at where their relative stands. Look at where their spouse stands. You will know that those closest to them are speaking on their behalf because they whispered into their ears. How can someone say the decision to join Umkonto Wesizwe is the best decision ever taken? And my wife Mantra is the first one to like such a thing. And you say, Julius Malema is with us. When the partner likes the things that seeks to denounce the organization and where the organization stands, where the relatives, where the cousins and siblings have declared where they stand, and you still ask yourself, where does this leader stand? Look at those around him, and you will know where this leader stand. Comrades, there is no one who must not declare their confidence in the EFF. Those who choose to be silent during the attack of the EFF, we must know them for being the silent enemies of our organization and they must be treated as such. <laughs> Comrades, do not make the mistake of choosing people tomorrow who are too ashamed to choose you today. You are too busy 
following other resignations, popularizing certain people that they must take over, yet they are silent when people decided to abandon you. Why can't they choose you? Why do you keep on choosing the people who never choose you when it is time for them to choose you? They are telling you silently that as the movement recovers from a difficult elections and is surrounded by vultures, they do not choose you. They are choosing what looks like greener pastures. Many of them are opportunistic because they want to see whether they will be emerge in the upcoming Third National People's Assembly before they decide whether they will remain in the EFF or not. Many of them are using the Third National People's Assembly as a threat that if they do not get elected or are not part of the leadership discussions leading up to the conference, then they will leave and join MKP. We must never be blackmailed by those who want to threaten us with leaving after the Third National People's Assembly. I want to say to them, leave now. Live now so that we can know how many soldiers we have in this struggle to liberate our people. You must live today because nothing is going to change between now and December. Nothing is going to change now and in the future. The future looks bright because we determine it today. We are here to make our destiny for how the future looks like tomorrow. Live now. We have no reason to beg anyone, if you want to leave, leave now and leave us alone. Even if we are alone, we'll always continue to speak truth to power. It's very painful to count the soldiers you don't have. Fellow fighters, none of you should allow anyone to bargain their loyalty for position. Anyone who bargains their loyalty in exchange for a position or deployment is an enemy agent who must be identified and isolated from our movement. Your silence has told us enough about your character. We do not need people who are considering their options in the EFF. We do not need people who are willing to sacrifice principle in exchange for blue lights in the EFF. We only need people who are loyal to this movement and loyal to our people, no matter what.